guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Rainbow Fantasy, the newest fragrance from Britney Spears. This is her 26th fragrance and her 16th fantasy. Um, this one, it is an Eau de Toilette this time, and it's a little bit different from the original fantasy, but similar at the same time. I'll get more on that in a little bit. But the box looks like this, and it says Rainbow Fantasy, Britney Spears, Eau de Toilette Spray Vaporizer, 3.3 ounce, 100 milliliters. You got the same triangle that was on the original Fantasy box, but this time it's kind of like holographic or iridescent, whatever you want to call it. And then you do have this like blue to yellow to pink green on the box. And there are these little like floral motifs, if I can get the camera to focus on those, on the bottom corners. Not really quite sure why they're there, but they're cute. I do like they're there. Um, I do wish, honestly, that they would have done the triangle, like this blue, yellow, and then done the rest of the box at iridescent, just because I like iridescent, but that's just me. The bottle, though, looks like this this time, and it is my hands down favorite fantasy bottle that's been released. The color gradient is gorgeous. It fades from blue to pink to gold or orange or whatever you want to call it. Um, the little part here is blue. And you got a hot pink cap. And I just really, really, really like this bottle. Um, I like that they went away from the Maui and the Embloom and went back to the original, like, um, the gems. The only thing about this bottle, and I noticed it, like, straight away when they first, like, when pictures first started leaking of this, I was like, this bottle looks familiar. Like, I've seen this color gradient before. Does the Britney's, not Britney, oh my god. This is Brittany. Uh, Viva La Juicy's limited edition bottle this year. Uh, this is the Macy's exclusive, but it goes from gold to pink to blue. If you flip it upside down, it matches the gradient. Um, I love both bottles. I love this color gradient. This is one of my favorite gradients. The only like hard part I would have to say is I do wish they added more colors to this because this isn't really rainbow. Um, I mean, she did pride like the this one right, right right there that's just like a slip cover and was like rainbow pride but i wish they would have done like stripes on the bottle of rainbow or like they could have even done what terry mugler did with the um we're all alien where they have like all the different like random iridescents i think that would have been cool or even if we would have done like orange pink blue and then this was like green and purple i don't know like Another way to get more colors in there for calling it Rainbow Fantasy, this bottle isn't very rainbowy. So, Rainbow Fantasy opens with notes of lemon caviar, cloudberry, and pear leaves. Middle notes are water lily, peony, and jasmine, with base notes of wood, amber, and cotton candy. So, when you first, first, first spray it, like when you first, like, like it gets on your skin, you do get like a burst of like the citrusy lemony, but the cloudberry and the pear and the lemon, like, they're all kind of just, like, a fruity opening. Um, I don't really feel like it, one note stands out in particular in the opening, and that's just because the amber and the cotton candy from the base really, really come through. This is really kind of, like, a warm cotton candy scent, but still, like, really light, really airy, really fluffy, really fruity. It does have a little bit more of a fruity opening, and as it starts to dry down, the florals do come in a little bit. But definitely with that jasmine in there and those kind of like, I feel like the lemon caviar, the cloudberry kind of represent the kiwi from the original. And while the original kind of had that kiwi cupcake, vanilla, accord, the white chocolate in there, this one is definitely like fruity with cotton candy and amber. It definitely smells a lot like the original fantasy, but it doesn't. So like, I don't want you to think like, oh, this smells like fantasy, because it definitely doesn't smell like... 2006 fantasy walking through your high school like this if you've smelled fantasy and you were to smell this you'd be like oh yeah that's definitely fantasy and it definitely is reminiscent of a flanker and in my mind it's like the second time that she's ever done like a true flanker to the original fantasy because i definitely feel like intimate edition was very similar to the original fantasy and it's, it's like a different take on it this one's even a further departure from that and it's almost like they made a new version of fantasy if that's like it smells like fantasy but it doesn't if that makes sense this is an older toilet it doesn't it becomes a skin scent rather quickly i will say that after about three hours it does dry down really close to the skin 
but it doesn't completely go away. After about five hours, you can still smell it. I wore it to work and had some of the girls at work smell it and see what they think of. They, it wasn't like, oh my god, what are you wearing? That smells so good. It was, oh, that smells good, but what is it? Like, one of the girls was like, it's, oh, it smells like vanilla-y and kind of fruity, and I never told any of them what I was actually wearing. I just had them smell, like, it on me. And they, like, most of them had to smell my arm directly to be able to smell it. They, it wasn't like some of my other fragrances where I walk past them and they can definitely cap, catch a whiff of it. This, I definitely do feel like you might have to be within a close proximity of each other to be able to smell it. It doesn't have the greatest sillage or projection. It's just... It's kind of a closer scent, and that is just because it is in our toilette. But that being said, it does last longer than like Island Fantasy, which you spray it and you forget about it. So this one is really, really good. I definitely think as it warms up, as the weather gets warmer, and it's not you know balls cold like it is here in Iowa, as it starts to get in the spring, as we start to get in the summer, this fragrance definitely will shine more. This definitely you can tell just by smelling it is designed and created more for those warmer months where those hard notes like cotton candy that can be kind of overpowering if they're done too hard this will definitely kind of like lighten up and breezy with the summer and spring time so i definitely think this is more of a spring and summer type scent that being said it is still very sweet it is still very fantasy like um it's just a little bit different i probably would say versus like sunset fantasy maui fantasy some of the previous releases this is a closer version of fantasy than those were. This definitely is like a true flanker. Like designers do with like when Muggler does like different versions of Angel. Like I have um, Usu Cray and Fan Let's see if we can do this. We have Fruity Fair and Usu Cray back here. And they both smell similar. Like you can smell the difference between them. But they both had that original like Angel DNA to them. Like they kind of smell like Angel. That's what this is. It definitely... Smells like it belongs in the fantasy family, and you definitely could pick that up from it. But it is its own new fragrance, and doesn't it could stand al alone if you've never felt smelled fantasy, which I would find hard to find something who hasn't smelled fantasy. But if they haven't, they may not pick up that this smells like Britney Spears's fantasy, but it definitely does in a way. So there you guys go. There is my review of Britney Spears's Rainbow Fantasy. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you did, follow me on Twitter, hey, that's perfume and Instagram among the among the stars perfume. Wow, caught myself up there. Um, links are in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching. For anyone who has been following my channel for a while, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a treat for the month of February. So for the whole month of February, every single Monday, you guys will be getting brand new reviews, and every single Thursday, you guys will be getting a brand new list video. So this Thursday, you will be getting a brand new list video. Monday, you'll be getting um another review, follow by another list video, so on and so forth. I really want to bring more content to you guys in 2019 and really kind of like kick my butt into gear and give you guys some more. So I know I said it in the past, but watch, it's actually going to happen this time because I built a schedule and I'm sticking to it. So as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.